Hi guys, I am Ashutosh Kumar from Zero One. Today we are here to proceed on our next video tutorial of C programming. In previous video section, I taught you about primary data types and those who haven't watched that video, I would strongly recommend to watch that video. Okay? So today we'll discuss all, all those that has been taught in previous class using a sample program. Okay? So let me first write a sample program, then we will discuss all the points. So I told you the basic construct of C program that was has include stdio.h then we write void main opening a curly braces and closing a curly braces suppose I want to add two numbers then I write int a comma b int c and then a equal to 5 b equal to 4 c equal to a plus b and then print f percent d comma c okay don't worry about this program that it, it is so complicated see when i write this int a b what happen is we are allocating some memory okay this is known as declaration okay this thing is known as declaration okay so what happened this int is a primitive primary or primitive data type that is integer okay so what happened a a memory block named a will be assigned okay then b okay and C we have so here I write a equal to B so this is assignment okay this one or this one we call assignment assignment and one more important thing that you should know is the left side of equal to sign is this is L valued okay this is known as L value and this right side this right side this is known as R value okay so this is declaration this is assignment the left side is L value the right side is R value when we are declaring we are actually allocating memory okay A B C okay now we have assigned 5 we have assigned 5 so 5 will go in a we have assigned 4 4 will go in b now what we have done we have added a plus b so a plus b will be 9 so 9 will go to c 9 is going to c so this is the way of writing so see here we use our this int is a keyword this int is a keyword here again this is a keyword okay what does this keyword mean this keyword has a special meaning what it means that it tells compiler that a and b should store integer type of value only okay so here when we are storing 5 it is well and good but when we write write a equal to 5.5 okay this is not good this is error okay we cannot store real values or decimal values into a integer type of data so this int signifies that this a and b are of integer type okay so we have stored this and we have now this one what is this one this is a very new thing this is known as format specifier okay this is known as format specifier so what is the use of this see this is the basic construct this is the construct of printf that we should remember printf okay format specifier and then the variables okay see what happens this is a variable okay we have to print the value stored on this variable so whenever we are required to do like this we have to use a format specifier now this c this c is type of integer integer type of data so we are using format specifier percent d had it been float then we would have used format specifier that is percent f for float percent f for float 
and percent D for integer. Again for character it is percent C. So we have different format specifiers for different type of data. Now the one question which would come to the beginners is suppose we write printf and we want to print a print a message then we write printf directly hello. So why we aren't using any format specifier why because there nothing called variable okay directly we are passing the value into the printf and we are printing it in the screen okay here we are so if we want to print more than one variable then what would have been written we have wrote printf okay percent d percent d and so on and so on and then we could have wrote a comma b comma c and dot dot so this is the format of printf okay if we would if we want to print a also then we could have done c comma a and then we, here we would have put one more percentage d okay one more percentage d so this is the way we do okay now one more thing is that how we declare this variable name okay these are the identifiers this is used to identify the name of a variable now let us discuss the rules rules for i'm erasing this one identifiers okay so we can write for example like this int hello but we cannot write int to hello this is wrong because every variable name or uh, we call it strictly identifier so every variable name should be beginning with a alphabet a letter or underscore okay it should not begin with any numeric okay again when we write int h e comma l l o this is wrong there should no there should be no comma no space also so this int h e space l l o this is also wrong okay again only the first 31st character first 31 character are significant so if we write a variable number as long as 36 character and only the first 30 31 character will be significant okay one more important thing is that we cannot name a variable like this int auto you know why or int int cause int and auto are keywords okay int and auto are keywords int and auto are keywords so we cannot use keywords for variable name okay so this is again wrong so those 32 keywords which are reserved we cannot use okay this was the concept of variables now let me tell you what are user defined data types okay so user defined data types are those which can be defined by user say for example the syntax of defining is, is like this see type def type def and then unit that what you want to define okay that is int as what unit has include stdio.h void main and then we can write a unit a and then a equals to 5 and then we can print f print f percent d comma a so what we have done we have defined this unit as integer okay so whenever i write unit it means that this is the integer this is the int okay so we and same way i write unit space a or i write int space a because this int and unit mean the same thing so this was the idea of user defined data type uh, there's nothing more in that now let us talk about derived data type okay so we will learn derived data type in later video sections derived data types are like you know arrays structures unions So this we will learn when we cover this topics. So this was all about data types. Now one more point is, let me go into the depth of data types. Okay. So we have data types like int, char. Okay. So the size is eight bits. The size of character is eight bit. Okay. 
and this char, this char will be used to store character type of data. So we used integer on in summation. How we will use character? See, void main. Now we can write char a. Suppose we have wrote, no char a, and assume that I have written has include studio i dot h when I do not write it. Okay. Now char a. Now we can store char a equal to by under the quotes we'll put a. Okay. So this is this is the variable which will be used to store a. Why? This is a character type of variable. How we will print it? Print f. So what is the format specifier for char? This is percent c. Okay. And comma a. So this will print you the value of what is value a. So output will be a. And I have told you the format specifier for float is percent f. So and if we write percent d in place of percent c, if we write, then it will give you the ASCII value of a. The output will be the ASCII value of a. So this was about char, float, and int. Okay. Now this char is eight bit long. This char is eight bit long, and the range will be from minus one twenty seven to one twenty eight. Okay. And we when we call it as unsigned char. It is also eight bit, and it its range will be from zero to two fifty five. When we do not write anything, this means signed char. So eight bit means we have this eight bit one two three four five six seven and eight one two three four five six seven and eight. Okay, so we can with this you find the binary. See this one. This is zero into. Two to the power. Sorry, if suppose here zero 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 one zero zero. So how we evaluate zero into two to the power zero plus zero into two to the power one and so on. So this way we calculate the range. Range. And when we talk about sign, the first bit is you know the first bit is fixed. This first will bit will be fixed to decide the sign zero or or zero or one accordingly. Okay. So this is all about. I we do not want to go the in depth. We will discuss in depth in later stages. Okay. So this was a very brief idea. So this is eight bit long. When it is signed, see the range will be less. Why? Why range is less? Why? Uh, because we have fixed that first bit for sign. Okay. First bit is fixed, and rest seven bits are used. So the magnitude is only from zero to one twenty eight. Now see when we have done unsigned. This means this first bit will also be used to evaluate the magnitude. So this comes to zero to two five five. Again, same way we have int, int or signed int, both are same. Unsigned int. Okay, these are sixteen bit, sixteen bit in Turbo C. Okay, in some computers or GCC you will find it thirty two bit. Similarly, you can see the check out the ranges. Similarly, we have float. Okay, we have range, and say int can be also sort int. When we write sort int, the size will be eight bit. Float double. Okay, float will be thirty two bit. Double will be eighty bits. Similarly, we can have, uh, you know, uh, we cannot. We can have uh, sign uh, sign float and unsigned float. Okay, we can have all these combinations. so this was the idea you can check on standard textbooks or on internet about this or you can mail us if you find it very difficult so this was all about the data types one last thing that i need to mention is about constant and volatile keyword so what is constant and volatile keyword used for See when we write a program, say for example, has include you assume void main, and then I write int const a equal to five. So see here I am writing in a new way. So this is called initialization. At the time of declaration only. I have in initialized some value. See, I write like this: int a, and then I put the value. I could have wrote in 
another way like int a equal to 5 okay so at the time of declaring only we gave a value so this is initialization so what is the see if i remove this const this is well and good when i put a const this means this a is constant means we cannot again write like this a equal to a plus 1 okay and if we print f percent d comma a see this is this will give you error why see this is constant sorry c o n s t c o n s t this is constant so what we are doing we are again updating the value a constant cannot be updated if we would have deleted this one then this is well and good what would be the value see a is equal to 5 this 5 will come here 5 plus 1 it will go 6 so previously a was 5 okay and then after this statement a will become 6 so every time the assignment will be from r value to l value so this was about constant keyword okay keep in mind that a constant cannot be changed in due course of programming now volatile if a if a variable is volatile it signifies that this can can be changed by external programs okay so when a is volatile this means that this can be changed so, okay if we do not write a also then we can also change it we can change but writing volatile means writing volatile means it can be changed by some external program also okay so this was a very basic idea of constant and volatile keyword there's nothing much in it so guys hope you have learned about data types in c and all the basic ideas about how to declare a variable how to declare a variable how to assign uh, assign a value in it what are the data types primitive data types and user defined data types i told you that we will learn derived data types in later stages of video so this was all for this video session in next video session we will proceed further thank you for watching please like and subscribe